Hi, good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Teresa here. It's been quite a while since I last saw you. I apologize for that. Um, today is April 30, 2020. I am alone in our classroom, and I do miss you guys, and I hope all of you are doing well. Now remember, if you remember when we were in class together and we uh, talk about our date, we like to write our date using the number system, just like the grown-ups do, okay? So if you recall, January is the first month, February is the second month, March is the third month, April is month number four. And that's why you see a number four under April right here. I put a dash to separate the two numbers and today's number is number 30 because today is April 30th. I put a dash to separate the day from the year and our year is 2020. So it is 4 dash 30 dash 2020. Now I noticed many of you are not writing the dates onto your assignment. I really encourage that you build this habit of writing dates down whenever you work on an assignment so you know which day exactly the assignment is done. Also, a little quick reminder, I don't see enough names on all of your assignment. I do kind of need it on all of your assignment. It is a good habit to build for first grade. And at least, you know, if something happens, Miss Teresa, Miss Teresa can tell who that assignment belongs to, okay? So please write your name on your assignment and write your date on the assignment. It, those two things are really good skills to bring to first grade. Uh, today lesson is going to be on subtraction, okay? Subtraction, that is a three syllable word. Subtraction. Okay, um, subtraction is not the same as addition. If you recall, when we talk about addition, uh, we talk about adding, putting things together, right? Addition, remember this, right? We talk about having to add things, objects, um, combining combining them together what what do we get when we combine things together we get more remember with addition we get more things of course when we use number to represent the objects um and we write it out we use the plus sign remember that little t looking thing a cross looking thing that's what we call a plus sign if you look at this this is four plus two equals six. So you have four objects, you add it to two more objects, you get more, you get six objects, which is better than where you started off at four. So pretend, think about it as candies. You have four candies and grandma or somebody, grandpa give you two more candies, you're gonna get six candies and six candies is a lot more than four candies, right? So adding, the one that we've been working on, addition, is what we do to get more. Remember that? We want more, we like adding, get more. Now subtraction is not going to be like addition, okay? Subtraction is totally different. Subtraction, in fact, we can say it's the opposite of addition, whereas in addition, we get more. What do you think we get in subtraction if we say it's the opposite of getting more? Hmm. If you say get less, you are correct. The opposite of getting more is to get less, okay? So subtraction is not like addition. Subtraction is a process where you take away okay you don't combine them you don't put it together you take away so what you do is you have one group of objects let's use our little our little favorite manipulative a little blocks let's say this is one group of object let's see how many objects do you think i have in this group 
A lot of you are probably guessing 10 because that's what we always start with, base 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You are correct. Here we have a group of 10 objects, okay? In subtraction, you start with one group, okay? But you take away. So here I have 10. I'm going to take this much away. How much did I take away? One, two, three. I'm going to take away. Throw it to a side. I now have less. Did you see how it went from longer to shorter? Because now it's less. Remember, subtraction, you get less. So how many do you think I have left? I started with 10. Remember? I took three out, threw it to a side. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I now have only seven left. Okay? That's what subtraction is. When you do subtraction, you have to remember that you're taking things away. Your numbers is going to start uh, uh, at a higher number and get to a lower number, depending on how many objects you take out of your group. Higher number, 10, right? Then you take off three from your group, and then you have seven left. It's a lower number. Seven is not more than 10. Seven is less than 10. Please remember that. Don't get confused with addition. Addition is when you have one group, okay? You have one group of object, and then you take a second group, and you add it, add it, put it on, add it, combine together to the other group. So you went from just 10 to more than 10 because you add one, two more. So 10 and two is 12. Remember when we did that 10 and one is 11, 10 and two is 12. But this is 10 and two more makes 12. And if you don't believe me, I'll count it out for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's addition. That's not what we're doing. Let's set it aside. So addition is adding another group to the group you have. Subtraction is using that one group that you have and taking it away and having less. Okay, so on one of your assignments this week, you are going to have to do a subtraction page. I suggest that you find anything, uh, a group of anything to start with. If you have Legos or Duplos, those are the best, okay? Uh, if you have Duplos, you can start out with the, the group, the one group, and then you can take away from that group. You can use coins, you can use your favorite toys. If you have Shopkins toys, those are really good um, to use for your subtraction work, okay? Please use a manipulative. Uh, why? Because, you know, this is just a starting out um, phase. And if you practice with the manipulative and your eyes can see what is going on, then you have a better understanding of what to do as you get into first grade and the manipulative goes away. Then you're using your brain, but because your eyes see it so often, your brain automatically can see it without the manipulative in your hand. So please, right now, you're only in kindergarten. Um, please use manipulative. You're going to you're going to um, benefit from it, okay? Now, I'm gonna do a couple of problems with you, and I want you to pay attention to what's happening as I do it. And by a couple, I mean just two problems because I have to keep this video a bit shorter than what it is right now. So let's start with what we have here. Here I have a picture of five trees. One, two, three, four, five. You see that little sign circle in red? I circle it and point it to it so you can see that is our minus sign. Remember that when you're working with subtraction, the sign that you need to use, the sign that is missing, <laughs> missing from Miss Teresa paper is the minus sign. And Miss Teresa tried to quickly find it. If not, I apologize. Uh, these video can never be too, too perfect. Oh, yep, Miss Teresa lost my minus sign. Oh, here it is, minus sign. Ta-da! Minus. 
The subtraction sign is just a line going across, kind of what, like a dash, but it's not. It's a minus sign. When you use it in a math problem, it's a minus sign. When you use it to separate the number and the date, that's a dash. So when you look at a problem and you see that minus sign, you have to think, ah, that's subtraction. I need to subtract from my group of objects. Here, my objects are trees. And I need to subtract, take away. Minus means to take away. I need to subtract how many? It say you have five, you must take away two. So I'm going to take away two by drawing X's over two of the trees. I want you to see it, okay? One X, two X, and ta-da! 1x, 2x. So I took 2 away. How many do I have left? So they say, if you take 2 away, how many do you have? Equals to how many? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. I have 3 left. So I'm going to show you. Ta-da! 5 minus 2 is equal to three. Now, uh, if you like to use your number, you have five fingers, one, two, three, four, five. You take away one, two. How many do you have left? One, two, three. Subtraction. Start with a group of objects, take away two. This is how much you, they want you to take away. Take away two and find out how many you have left. Easy peasy, right? Now, let's do a second one. Okay. Oh, there it goes again. Can't find it. Here it is. What groups do I have here? Hearts. I have a group of hearts. How many do I have in this group? One, two, three, four. I have four hearts in this group. I start with four. Now look at my sign. It is a minus sign. That means they want you to do what? Take away. How many do I have to take away? Three. Take away three. So I'm gonna draw three X's on my heart and see how many I have left. One, two, three. Ta-da! Three X's. I took one away, two away, three away. How many do I have left? One, that's all I have left. So if you start with four, you take three away, you are left with just one lonely heart, okay? Now if we convert this to fingers, let's start with four, okay? Four, take away one, two, three. How many do I have left? One. So you see, with subtraction, you start with a group of objects. You take away however many the problem want you to take away. In Miss Teresa's problem with the heart, it wants me to take away three. So I took three away. In Miss Teresa's problem with the tree, it want me to take away two. So I took away two. So you must pay attention. The first number tells you the starting number. How much do I have in my group? The second number behind the minus sign tells you how much do I have to take away. And the last number equals to what is your answer. How much do you have left? And that, boys and girls, is what subtraction is. Now, I hope you guys take your time and do the little subtraction worksheet that you have. I will continue to send you home uh, some more subtraction worksheet the following week. I know we only have a few more weeks together uh, with each other, so I'm trying to get you guys to retain, keep as much of what you learn so that when you get to first grade, you can impress Miss Bueller, uh, the first grade teacher, on what you know. And I'm telling you guys right now, you guys are one of the smartest group I know. I know you're going to be excellent in first grade. I can't wait to hear all about you when you get to first grade. You guys know how excited I am about all my first graders. I care about you. 
uh, even when you go to first grade because I want to see you do well and I know how smart you are and I want you to always show any teacher that you have uh, from now, first grade, second grade, and throughout life, how smart you really are. And to stay smart, you have to stay studious. That means you have to work hard. Nothing in life comes easily for us, right? Always have to work hard to build ourselves to become better, right? Being good is not never good enough. We always want to work for better, right? Remember we talk about that? Uh, just a little parting words. Um, I hope you guys uh enjoy this video and there will be another video on uh telling time and that will be coming soon so bye boys and girls i am out of here and miss trinelle want me to use this button to show you when i am out of here maybe a spooky sound bye